Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Max because I can see on Twitter lots of debates, lots of arguments and counter arguments about Max. Is it an investment? Is it a good investment or was a good investment? And uh, when it is becoming an investment, if it is going to become in the future. So in today's video we are going to talk about that. I'm going to share my opinion because I can see that everyone is sharing their opinions so I just cannot be left behind. Therefore buckle up because I'm going to just tell you what I think when or if Max will become an investment. And by the way, you should subscribe. Let's start. So I don't know if this is the reaction to the market, to the bear market, to the not so pleasant price action of eGold or whatever, whatever brought this out into the into the space or into Twitter space on the Aaron ecosystem. Or maybe we don't have many topics, many other topics to talk about. But Max is a hot topic these days, and it was before. But I think the trendiness of this topic is always cyclic okay when eGold is going up nobody cares about max when eGold is down and we just have to wait and we don't have other projects to discuss about it then max just comes to the surface again and people start to debate about that but that's okay because we need to solve this situation and i think everyone should say their opinion so what is happening here i think uh, this was a long uh, discussion so this this particular thread was started by be successful he was talking about his opinion obviously uh, whether he thinks uh, that max is an investment or not uh, there were some discussions steven the economistic also jumped in and uh, yeah the, the rest you can you can read this uh, on twitter i'm not gonna read it however i was thinking that i should also share my opinion because on Max, I am I'm not biased, I am not against, I'm not with, I'm more like neutral, which is not the best position, by the way. However, I will share what I think and when I will start to buy Max, because at one point, I will start to buy it. Now, if we go to the chart, uh, obviously, this is a three-day chart, and I will just switch back to the one-day what can I say? It's not the best. It's not what we want to see. This is a straight dump, a downtrend. Uh, no analysis. I just I just put a, a line here, which we can yeah extend however uh, high we want. Yes, max is downtrending, and it will be until one point. However, ego is also downtrending, and people are DCAing. So why people don't DCA in max? That's the question, and yeah, we know the answer is because it's highly inflationary. And there are unlocks. Now, here is my opinion about if Max is an investment right now. I think the question or the answer is twofold. Okay, there is two sides. One, those who are enjoying the meta staking, the rewards, and want to um, gather as much rewards as they can from other coins, which you obviously get from Energize Max. The other one is those who want to make some cash. Now, if I am being honest, I don't have enough max to get some high rewards, therefore I'm in for the cash. But right now, it is not the time to make cash with max. As you probably know, max will be uh, unlocked until March of 2024. Now, since I was uh, in EGOT, I mean, I was in the first batch of max, I got max uh, for free and I also bought another batch in December but that was uh, for a different story. My last unlocks of the unenergized or, or, or not energized max will be also the last unlock for everybody else and that is when everything will uh, start to be interesting and as you can see I draw here a very big and thick green line. This is when I think that we will, we will start to talk business. And that will be, unfortunately, in March 2024. So what are we going to do in the next one year? Well, there are different scenarios in my head. One is we keep dropping. However, we can see on the chart, and I'm just going to delete this line because it's it's unnecessary. It's ab ab absolutely unnecessary. Uh, we can see on the chart that the drops are not as high because the unlocks are also not as big or people just don't sell it. I mean, who is going to sell uh, 1 million or 2 million max for $30? It's just not worth it. You cannot even buy one eagle. Now, the thing is that uh, I do think that people will start at one point to wait with their max and they become holders. That obviously is a good thing. However, it doesn't have the burning mechanism. 
if people don't energize their max, if people don't unlock their X max and lose 80% of their token, if people don't transact with max, then the burning, uh, well, is not so high because the burning is coming from the transactions. So how we think the chart and the price will look like in the upcoming one year? Obviously, that depends a lot on the market. If we have a bull run, I do think that the, the max price will go sideways like this. And why is that? Because everything should go up, also max. Well, max could have some jumps, but I think as soon as max pumps, like 20, 50, 100%, people who have unlocked max tokens, they will sell. They will just see it as an opportunity, as a last resort to sell it. And I think that those are the people who are overexposed, who bought in max with the hope that uh, it will go to $1. And I have to say, the reason I didn't buy at the beginning was because I was thinking that it is just too nice to be true, okay? It was the simple uh, thesis, the simple theory that either a lot of us will become millionaires and billionaires or none of us. Now, Max and the Multiverse X ecosystem on Twitter, for example, would look very different if everybody uh, who got Max would be a millionaire and we would just drive around in our Lambo. However, economics doesn't work that way. You have to be patient and you have to time the market. And if an asset is in excess on the market comparing to the, to the demand, the price will actually drop. Because balance, yeah, that's everything. So when I was seeing that we are going to get millions and millions of max uh, tokens, I was thinking that I'm in, I am not going to buy any of it. I'm not going to convert my ego into any max, any type of max, because the, the supply is just huge. The inflation of the tokenomics is big. And even though right now the inflationary mechanism of the token is shrinking and it went down by, by 80%, it is still huge comparing to tokens who have a hard cap. Therefore, we need to wait for something. But what is that? For me to start to buy max, one of these two things need to be completed or need to start to, to show face. And one of them is the team's strategy. Now, Max, for me, is not enough to be the first-class citizen uh, of the X exchange. Because other than the meta staking, we cannot use it for anything. Yes, we get rewards, and those rewards might perform very well in the bull market, because I think the best way to, to check the rewards or how much you got for, uh, for your Max uh, staking or farming is when the bull market will hit, and we will see on small tokens the 50-100x. If it will happen, we don't know, obviously. Now, the first thing which needs to happen for me to start to buy Max is the team's strategy around Max. It was said many times by Benjamin Minko that Max will be listed on tier 1 exchanges. And uh, that is what most of the people are waiting for. But I think that to happen, another thing needs to be implemented. Because I don't think that you can list a token which is highly inflationary, no utility as for right now. and you cannot get rewards if it's on an exchange. Why would it be on an exchange then? It doesn't make any sense. So I think the max tokens first need to be like a first class citizen on the X launchpad. That is what I'm waiting for. Okay, you can have eGold, you can have max, you can participate with either of these, these bags, or you get extra tickets if you have both. I think that would be one of a good uh, strategies in order to incentivize people to hold the max to buy them and to transfer them on their um, eGold wallet, right? Export all the, the extension, web wallet, it doesn't matter. Next one, which I want to see, is the unlock period is over. We reach the green line here. Because when we reach the green line, that is when, that is when the fun starts. And please remember, that is going to be next year, March 2024. Now, that supposed to be the start, the real start of the bull market. In June, we will have the Bitcoin halving. If all the unlocks are finished, if all the tokens are distributed, and the only extra minting is the inflationary of the token, we, we have seen on other tokens that it could uh, create a huge pump. Now, obviously, nobody will buy that if uh, it's not used for anything. So I think it would be also good if some of the project would adapt it, if the max token would be used for other things uh, than the meta staking, as I said. However, when the unlocking are done, 
and when we have some kind of strategy, some kind of extra utility for Max in order to motivate people to buy in, I think from there we will see some nice pumps, maybe huge pumps, for the simple fact that Max is just going down and right now there is no demand for it. I think at the smallest demand, the price will probably jump 20, 50, 100 percent because, yeah, it's just down like 99 percent and something. I don't even want to measure it, honestly. So, yeah, that is what I think answering my own question. Is it an investment or not? I think right now it's not. If you don't want rewards, if you want cash, if you want rewards, then yes, it is. If you want cash, it will become soon. And uh, that soon is going to be here very fast before you know it. Take care.